So the love of your life is not really the life of a party. I'm Swati Prakash, a communication coach, a writer, and a counselor. Here are a few things you should know if you're dating an introvert. If you are an extrovert, the introvert world might be a mystery for you. So what should you do or not do when you are dating an introvert? Number one, don't be high-headed about being an extrovert. This is probably one of the first thing you should mind when dating an introvert. Introverts in our society are often pulled up or teased or talked about because of their introverted behavior. They are often made to believe that being an extrovert is the right way to be. And they are missing out on so much by being who they are. Don't add to that list of people who are constantly judging them. Introverts are not inferior to extroverts and introvert relationships are not bad. Don't try to change them. Don't pester them with invitations like, you know what, you should come to the party, you'll, you'll like my friends, or let's go clubbing, it's great fun. Once in a while, it is okay to expect your partner to do things that you find fun. But expecting them to draw happiness in everything you like is a big put off. Remember, they don't go partying or clubbing because that's a choice they have made and not because they did not have the opportunity to. Once you notice the introvert signs in their personality, respect their choices and please don't try to change them. Give them space. Introverts have a different set of social batteries. After every outing, your partner might want some alone time. Maybe they like to be home on Saturdays, so give them that. Let them recharge their batteries while you go out. Now don't try to fit in their mold either. Yes, the key to a healthy relationship is being together without losing your own personality. So, if your partner likes to stay back while you want to go hiking, please go. Don't ration your feelings or activities because you are dating an introvert. If you stifle your real self, you would be unhappy. And no one can be happy in a relationship with an unhappy self. Next is to have meaningful conversations. You obviously will have to take the lead here when it comes to holding conversations. But listen to them attentively. Ask them open-ended questions and be genuinely interested when they are talking. You have to understand that talking is not something that introverts enjoy. So avoid doing small talk. Instead, engage in some meaningful conversations. A wide-eyed, loving listener can make many a heart speak. Avoid stimulating environments. So by now you know that what excites you may scare them away. So avoid environments that are very social, noisy or intruding. Like I said, their social battery is different from yours. make small steps into their world. Introverts don't have many friends, but that's because they don't allow many people in their lives. They are social, but they're quite selective. So go slow or else they might feel threatened. Don't take everything personally. If they say that they want to spend a day alone, please don't take it personally. They need that alone time for themselves. And in all likelihood, it has nothing to do with you. Now, if all this sounds like a lot of hard work, here are some perks of dating an introvert. Introverts are quite loyal. Since they don't let many people in, they really value and are very committed to the ones that are part of their lives. Introverts are pretty self-sufficient. So chances are your introvert partner wouldn't be very demanding of you. Besides, you too can have your own social circles without bothering each other. Cheered up already? So if you liked our video, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thank you.